Hi everyone, this is Dan and the Future Holds Crypto. This will be a short video. I just want to talk a little bit about the so-called clarity in terms of security and exchange commissions related to cryptocurrency. Uh, you know that uh, every time um, uh, Gary Gensler went uh, public or even in the Senate hearing, he mentioned that most of the cryptocurrencies are security from his point of view, even stable coins are security and stuff like that. And um, <clears throat> Um, this is, uh, uh, but if you ask him if something is a security, they will not. He will not say anything. He will avoid the question, um, and. Um, um, of course, uh, <laughs> we can see the Ripple lawsuit. I've been following it very closely during the uh, since December last year, and uh, I can say that uh, um, while the, the the lawsuit is, from my perspective, going well from the Ripple pers from the Ripple point of view, um, it it showed a lot of problems in the Security Exchange Commission and how basically it picks losers and winners. Um, and uh, I think I mean I I think that uh, one of the problems here is that. Uh, it's not treating uh, other cryptocurrencies on a fair level compared to uh, to to, a, uh, to one specific one like XRP or any other one. So basically, it's not clarity from from this point of view. And um, <laughs> um, um, what I wanted to show you when it comes to so-called clarity. So basically, comp you know that Ripple uh, basically was um, uh, deemed as a currency um, uh, by FinCEN, right? Uh, and this is the Ashton Finson Gov um, website. And uh, of course, now the SEC says it's a security. Uh, and um, uh, the new uh, CFTC nominee uh, says that most of the cryptocurrencies are actually commodities. And so basically, let me show you this video with uh, the new nominee from uh, case against a stable coin. CFTC. But this is the tip of the iceberg. As of yesterday, the total size of the digital asset market was $2.7 trillion. And among that $2.7 trillion, nearly 60% were commodities. So with that in mind, I think it's important for this committee to reconsider and consider expanding authority for the CFPC. Uh, this would certainly be a departure from our historical role. Yeah, so that's that's the point, basically. So now CFTC says it's there are commodities and they want their under their uh, um, and they're their uh, garden, let's say. So um, uh, uh, we have CFTC saying there most of them are commodities. We have SEC and Gary Gensler saying that most of them are securities. We have FinCEN saying that uh, uh, one of them, for example, is uh, uh, a, a, a currency. Uh, and um, <coughs> in the meanwhile, <laughs> uh, SEC is saying that it's a uh, security as well. Um, and we have. Uh, and, and to show you here uh, the video where basically Tom Emmer, the congressman Tom Emmer, mentions to Gary Gensler that he think that Gary Gensler thinks that most of them are securities. The market is uh, approximately two trillion dollars. Uh, you've been outspoken uh, in that you think most cryptocurrencies on the market are securities. I, I couldn't disagree with you more thoroughly. I believe most cryptocurrencies are commodities or currencies. Currency. But for the purpose uh, of better understanding your perspective, I have several quick questions I'd like to run through uh, during my uh, time, and I'd appreciate quick responses to each question. Uh, Chair Gensler, let's say someone who issued a token agrees with you and thinks that their token is a... So, um, basically... You will see it in this video, and I'm going to link it below. But Gary Gensler um, doesn't say anything about uh, or doesn't contradict him in the terms of not thinking that most of them are securities because he does think that and he has spoken this uh, a lot of times in different words. Many of them, uh, most of them, um, a lot, dozens of them. <laughs> so this is the clarity he's speaking of. Um, and uh, one thing that I also want to show you is basically the, the funny thing is that even with the Ripple lawsuit, basically it's the first time in history, uh, at this scale at least, where uh, the SEC comes in and says, okay, investors, I'm going to protect you from this. And the investors are actually uh, annoyed by the fact that they actually not, they, the SEC did not protect them and they actually um, <clears throat> took off a lot of their profits or even uh, they went into, uh, in the, or they lost uh, money into this because of of, uh, the uh, SEC and um, have um, came to get has have come together under uh, crypto law and John Deaton to represent themselves in uh, the lawsuit with uh, between the uh, SEC and uh, uh, Ripple and now they are being 
uh, we are actually being uh, <coughs> uh, called as amicus of the court. So we can say our opinion, uh, but uh, not intervene with any other thing. But anyway, that's a very big win. What I'm saying is that more than 56,000 people around the globe have gathered together saying that these, they are actually the investors they are trying to protect and they actually did the reverse. So, give me a second. Related to the clarity, it's also funny when basically they're saying they're protecting the investors and uh, uh, they're mostly harming them and uh, Tom Emmer has uh, a very good point here. What happens to those uh, investors, sir? Well, if the if the coin were to come in and you know, actually register, there's then they, those investors get the benefit of our securities law. Right now, they don't have the benefit of that. That basic bargain that we protect people against fraud and manipulation in our capital markets, and they get full and fair disclosure. They're not getting that right now, and it's falling short, and people are going to get hurt. But Chair Gensler, actually, what will happen under that scenario is the value of the token will plummet, and retail investors, the very people you are supposed to protect, will not be able to trade the guy again. So, I guess uh, where I'm going to go with this, if there's no path for them to be traded anywhere. Wouldn't investors be hurt by your enforcement actions? And what are you doing to solve this problem? What are you going to do? What I've said. Yeah. So that's that's what I wanted to to show you. Basically, that's a very good point. That that's exactly what happened. And that will. This is what is going to happen again. Publicly, and uh, I mean, I mean this again, and again, if they continue to do this. Um, uh, in an unclear manner. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. This is the clarity they're speaking of. We have uh, FinCEN, we have CFTC, and we have SEC saying completely different things. Uh, if, uh, most of them are securities, most of them are uh, commodities, uh, most of them, uh, some of currencies, nobody knows. But there is clarity. Yes, of course, very much clarity. Nope, it's not, not at all. Have a great day. Bye.